going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here, welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the YouTube app and the Media Player app for your 5.05 .05 PS4 uh, that will actually work without PSN. So normally you need PSN in order to use the YouTube app or the Media Player app, you have to be signed in. However, these package files that I'm going to show you how to install have been modified so that they do not require a PSN connection. So you still need an internet connection for the YouTube app, obviously, but you don't need to be connected to PSN. So you'll be able to actually use these applications on your 5.05 .05 PS4. So you want to go ahead and download them. Uh, I got them from uh, these posts on PSX hacks. This is the one for the YouTube app. There's a bunch of Mirror, mirror links you can go to to download them and the media player app is right here as well which I'll also link in the description it tells you how to download right here so once you have them downloaded you can see I have the YouTube app and the media player app downloaded the media player app is in a 7-zip uh, file so you're just gonna have to extract that with WinRAR or 7-zip so then you want to go ahead and put those package files on the root of a USB stick making sure the USB stick is of course uh, FAT32 or XFAT format. So you wanna go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna put these package files on. I already have a movie here, The Martian, just to show that the media player app works. Uh, I hope it can play MKV files, but I guess we'll see. So these are not very big apps, as you can see, it doesn't take too long to copy them over. So the YouTube app's only 80 megabytes and the Media player app is only 90 uh, megabytes. So once you got the apps transferred over to your USB stick, you just want to plug that back into your PS4. Okay, so apparently the media player app is pretty crap by the sounds of things, because it can't find any media that's not in, that's in the root directory. It has to be in a folder. Didn't realize that, so I'll create a folder called like I don't know movies or something like that, and put the media in there. And I've decided to. Apparently it also struggles with certain media, uh, certain file formats, so I have an AVI file, an MP4 file, and an MKV just to see, you know, hopefully one of these will actually play. So I'm going to put that in a folder, so if you want the media player app to work with an external hard drive or something, then it won't find any media that's in the root directory of the device. It has to be inside a folder. Kind of stupid, you think it would, you know, just be able to find it, but apparently not. So. Anyway, put it in a, put your media in a folder. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and install this now on the PS4. Okay, so once you're on your PS4, you're going to want to go ahead and load up the internet browser and of course run the homebrew enabler from your WebKit exploit. So 5.05 .05 and homebrew enabler. Now this should work on 4.05 and 4.55. I don't see why it wouldn't, um, but I can't confirm that of course. So then you want to go to settings and scroll down to the debug settings. Go to game, package installer, and install both the media player and YouTube app. Uh, oh, apparently I already have that, but we'll overwrite. Okay, so media player app installed, now for YouTube. And there we go, so both installed. So, Okay, so we've got media player and YouTube installed, so let's try media player first. See if it can play any of those file types. Because I think there are... I, I'm not sure, but I think it can't play MKV files. I know a lot of media player apps have issues with MKV. So let's try movies. So there they are, they're showing up. So let's try The Martian. Oh, okay, never mind. It's able to play that absolutely fine. So I will apply a blur on this. And i probably cut the audio out right now just so that... You know, it doesn't get copyright striked or anything, but, uh, you know, just to skip forward so that you can see that there that the, it is running perfectly fine. So there we go. So let's go ahead and go back. So yeah, that works. As you can see, uh, AVI, can it play this? Can't play audio. Okay. Well, never mind then. And MP4. Yep. Okay, yeah, that's running. Okay, so there we go. Media player app works without being signed into PSN. So let's go ahead and look at YouTube. See if this app runs as well. So we'll close media player and start up YouTube. With uh, no PSN connection. 
Okay, well, it's past the loading screen, so that's a good sign. And there we go. Yeah, everything's working fine by the looks of things. God, everything on YouTube is just Fortnite. Fortnite, <laughs> Fortnite everything. Okay, so let's go to my channel here, see if... Yep, latest video is showing up. Everything seems good. Let's see if it actually plays. And it does, no problem. Let's try skipping forward a bit in the timeline. Let's go here. Yep, it's working absolutely fine. The audio's running. So yeah, that's it. Pretty cool. You can now get YouTube and media player running on the PS4 without a PSN connection. As you can see, it says sign into PlayStation Network to view latest information for this application. We are not signed into PSN, but we can use some online features or apps that use online features like YouTube. So yeah, I hope we see more of this kind of stuff, other applications. I doubt things like Netflix would work. I'm pretty sure that's probably integrated into PSN quite a bit. Maybe not, who knows? But it would be nice to see um, what other applications could be could be modified to run without PSN. That would be useful. So yeah, I guess we'll wait and see. So hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I will hopefully see you guys in the next one.